Hello and welcome. This video is of Tonight You Belong To Me from the movie The Jerk. And this is for Concert Uke. I got a lot of requests for this from my other video which was done in the Lyle Ritz tuning. This is done for concert tuning. G, C, E, A. It's in the key of G uh, because you cannot do it in the key of G flat as it is in the movie. But if you want to play along with the movie, you can tune it down a half step. Anyway, in the key of G, Tonight You Belong To Me. And after the, the playthrough, we'll go through the individual chords very, very slowly and do the fingerings and all the chord names and stuff. So here we go. All right, let's do the chord breakdown. I have my chord cam here and you have a, a visual fretboard and some sheet music. So let's let's just go through it chord by chord. The first chord is G6. I'm using this finger here, the fourth and third. Third and fourth fingers. That's a G6. Um, normally you'd play it like that, but it'll make sense in a little bit why, why we're changing these chords. So, um, beginning of this song. So the first chord is G6. And then you slide up. Bar chord, simple, same two fingers. And then back down. And then keep your fingers there, but just hit the bottom three strings. Uh, that creates that sound from the movie uh, which is um, so just emphasize that bottom string and that goes the uh, you go through that twice and then we're on to the song starting with that G6 again same fingering boom nice easy strum and then move the pinky up and add the second finger there so that's Two, three, four. Nice easy strum. And then slide the pinky down, G7. And then you're already there for the C major seven. Just keep the pinky on there and that's a triplet. And then let go. So it's, and then you have to come up here with a bar chord. And that's that C minor with a raised seven, which is that jazzy chord from the movie. And then there's no easy way to do this. You have to just put all your fingers down in the right place. 
one, two, three, four. So you're just gonna have to practice that. And that's a triplet after that. So it's dun, 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 dun. once you get the hang of it. And then back down to that first position again with the fourth and third and fourth fingers. The end of the verse. This is a bar chord. Second finger and third finger. And then we get to the first turnaround, which is the same as the intro, that da 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 So it's mm -hmm. bar chord. And then, and then you have to come up here. Barring first finger, second finger makes a little bridge because you're gonna need to pull off on that pinky. Third finger and the pinky. Got it? And that's a triplet. And then you let go of the pinky. So it's. And then I use my second finger since it's already on that string. And then I dropped my first finger for that nice minor six. And then pick up. for that chord. Got it? So that's, I'll just play it through. That's where we are now. Second verse, same as the first, but not quite. Right? Except you don't go up with the pinky stretch. It's just the regular G7 shape. And then the same thing with that major seven. That is a triplet. And then up here again, that bar chord. Six. Now this is a little tricky because this is going to require you to put your pinky on that first string. Urgh, it's rough. So it's da, 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 da. so da, 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 da. got it. Off again. And then here's that famous turnaround that makes it. The movie version, which a lot of the other versions on the internet leave out, especially for concert you. Um, of course, this is in the key of G, but so so this this requires so you're here da, 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 da. different fingers. Now we're going to use two and three, and there's a reason for it because we're going to grab that G chord next. So da, 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 da. and and I'll play it through. Boom, boom. So we're here with these two fingers, and then we're going to grab that G shape. So just put the pinky down, and then you index finger, and then we switch over to the G7, but emphasize that top string. Make sure you hear that, because that's the way the melody follows the line through, and it makes it sound a lot more like the movie. And then. And then slide up. Good luck. You're gonna have to just work that over a couple of times. And then we're pretty much at the easy cruisy part of the. <laughs> uh, so it's just a half step. C minor six, B minor six. Back up. Okay. And then we get to the last tricky turnaround. This is gonna be a wild ride. So, back down to that C6 shape. 
And again, you're familiar with that. Um, and you have that sort of... Same as the intro. So it's... Slide it down again. And then we have to come up here for the diminish because we've run out of neck room. Um, so that's the similar progression to the uh, Lyle Ritz tuning, which is tuned lower. And he plays it up here, but we've run out of neck, so now we have to hop up for that diminished chord. Right? And then finally, there. So let's take that back to the beginning of that little progression. So it starts out... And you're gonna try to follow those notes. Those are the important notes to emphasize. So it's... The important note there. Okay, then run to the A7. And then this sort of A minor with no five. So it's dun, 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 dun. nice. And you're pretty much home free. There's nothing really new from here on out. And then we do put that pinky back in on that suspended fourth, G7 suspended fourth. Right? And then that same C. And then up here. And back down. Just a little old me. And then that silly trumpet song comes in there, which is hilarious in the movie, um, but fairly inappropriate. Uh, you can whistle it if you like. Now that's pretty much it. I hope you had fun. Um, just keep working through this. This is just so you can get your hands on the chords. And of course, um, if you go to igot2uke.com, I-G-O-T, two, number two, uke, U-K-E, dot com, you can get a download PDF of this sheet music with the chords and tabs. And also, if you contact me or subscribe to that um, website, you can also request a Guitar Pro tab file. I do all my arranging in, in Guitar Pro, so if you, if you can play those files or if you have Guitar Pro, that's a great learning tool because you can slow it down and play along and practice. Thanks again for joining us on our first video. There'll be another video next month. Uh, contact uh, me if you need any, any materials or have any questions. And thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on the next video.